This video is brought to you by Biznet. For more information, go to biznet.com.au. In this video, we're going to look at how you can use these dashboards to reconcile information in your database. If we go to the dashboard that we've been using and click on Analyze Data with a Pivot Chart, actually, sorry, we'll go to Analyze Data with a Pivot Table. Um, this is a pivot table that was used in an earlier video. I'm going to change things around a little bit. I'm going to remove the event and the activity. I'm going to put contact over here on the left and I'm going to hide knowledge worker and hide the manager so that what I've got here are any activities that have a blank. In other words, no person has been assigned to the activity. I'm going to change this field to count and what I can see is that I've got 10 activities in my project that don't have any people assigned to them. As we've seen before, I can do typical kind of pivot table stuff to get more information on that. Let's have a look at which activities are missing people. Well, there's six people missing from charts and tables, two from saving the dashboard, one from trends and forecasts, and one from introduction. We can double click on charts and table, and let's look at the event name. And there's the six events that don't have any people attached to them. This kind of reconciliation is really good um, for tracking down all sorts of um, dirty data in your database, including dates missing. Because when you do a pivot table, if you click on show all, it actually shows you all of the information inside your database, not just the things that you specifically asked for. And that's really helpful for reconciling information.